Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this section of the course, we're gonna be exploring the various bad guys in the world of cybercrime. Now, these bad guys are known as threat actors. Threat actors are the individuals or groups responsible for carrying out malicious activities. Malware development, data theft, extortion, denial of service attacks, you name it, the threat actors are responsible, which means they are the ones that we need to defend against. Threat actors come in all shapes and sizes, and there are many different types, each with their own characteristics and motivations. So without further ado, let's meet our lineup of threat actors. First up, we have hackers. Now, hackers is a broad term used to describe anyone who uses a computer in ways they weren't really designed to be used. For example, do you bypass authentication and gain unauthorized access? There are many types of hackers and we categorize them based on the color of their hat. We have black hat hackers, white hat hackers, and even gray hat hackers. Each has their own motivations. Next in our lineup, we have the criminal syndicates who engage in organized cybercrime. The motivation for these guys is financial gain. We have state actors who conduct espionage or sabotage against other foreign states. The motivation for state actors is political or economic. APTs or advanced persistent threats. These guys have very sophisticated skills and tactics. Hacktivists, which are hackers with a cause fighting the good fight. Well, at least in their own eyes anyway. We even have companies own employees, which are known as insider threats. And the last one we're going to look at is company competitors, which you may not think of as cyber criminals, but they can engage in some pretty shady tactics. So there we have it, our lineup of cyber bad guys. This video is part of our Security Plus in 31 Days course. If you like this video, you are going to love the full course. Not only does it cover each exam topic in simple and easy to understand videos, but it also provides hands-on labs. These labs guide you through practical tasks like creating Trojans, cracking passwords, and sending your own phishing emails, giving you real-world experience and making your studies that much more engaging and effective. It doesn't stop there though. You also get a copy of our Security Plus in 31 Days ebook, which follows the course and covers each topic. You'll also get access to helpful downloads to support your learning, a private community where you can connect with fellow learners, and exclusive discounts. It really is the complete package to guide you through your Security Plus journey. Check it out in the description below. Knowing who these threat actors are is vital when it comes to cyber security. Not only does this help us understand the cyber landscape, but by understanding these actors, their motivations, and some of their tactics, we can better defend ourselves against them. In this section of the course, we will be exploring each of these threat actors, looking at who they are, their motivations, and their tactics. Now, as we dive deeper into particular actors, it is worth knowing that they have no standard naming convention. Different security companies and organizations will use different names to describe the same groups. For example, some will use numbers such as APT1, APT2, APT3, and so on and so on. Others will use character names and graphics like Scattered Spider and Crouching Yeti. Luckily, most reports and blogs contain some of the most commonly used names. It's just something to be aware of. In this course, we will use the most common name. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. The support from you guys really helps this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching.